Let's see what our fashionable friend Charlotte Krupp has to say about it. Hi, Oprah. There's not a woman we know that doesn't want to look slimmer, faster, without doing any work. I first met Charla in 1991 after coming to New York to co-anchor the Today Show. I was the new girl in the big city and this Virginia girl needed some serious help. Charla immediately took me under her wing and became my friend, an incredible friend I might add, generous, kind and thoughtful. I still think of her looking at me with those huge expressive honey colored eyes and beatific smile. She was a coach, she was a guide, she was a teacher, she was always that cheerleader that was, you know, helping other people and cheering everyone else on. She was the entertainment editor of Glamour and I was a TV critic for Time Magazine. We were incredibly complimentary to each other. I mean, we kind of advised each other, we edited each other's writing. She's done so much to blaze a trail for so many women in the industry of beauty and fashion and in magazines. And there will never be enough things that we can say about Sharla in terms of her contributions to all of us. I mean, she was originally uh, had a lumpectomy for breast cancer back in 2006, in the fall of 2006. Uh, in the fall of 2009, uh, she was diagnosed with stage four metastatic breast cancer. She hated the idea that cancer could affect people's careers. She absolutely felt that she could work through all this, and she did. And she did. Um, the treatments at the beginning were very manageable for her. She, she worked, and no one knew that she was fighting this. She was able to do it for quite a while, and she just refused to kind of look at the dark side. She was always looking at the positive side, because you know, that was the only way for her to live and to keep working. Sharla bravely faced cancer and didn't want to have her career stop in its tracks because people were too concerned about her health. I think that's why she was so private during the course of her illness. She didn't want cancer to define her, and it didn't. Sharla held on to hope and fought to the end. My favorite memory of Sharla is actually my last memory of Sharla. Um, I'll never forget it. I mean, who could have been that sick? and been that alive at the same time. I don't think she was even aware of what a huge impact she had. I, ha I was able to, to see it in the response after her death. I'm, I'm really, really sorry that, you know, Charlotte couldn't see it. Because of what Charlotte has gone through and went through and, and did so almost alone, the mission of Cancer and Careers is more important to me today and to all of us than ever before because it's showing us and it's telling us that this is something, even in this modern age, that is still very taboo, that is very, very frightening to any of us who have a job that somehow we will feel discriminated against or we may not know what our rights are or what tools we have access to. So right now, I can't think of a more important organization than Cancer and Careers because I know of very few people who get diagnosed who don't still need their jobs. Sharla, wherever you are, I love you. And there isn't a day that goes by I don't think about you.